So this invert node is a pretty simple node, but I think it's really important that we understand the way it works because it might help you in the future. So saying it, the literal definition, invert takes a value, which is the color input, and it flips it over 0.5. And what I mean by that is if you put in a value right here, like around 0.25, it'll flip it to be on the other side of 0.5. So it'll end up over there. It'll be the same distance from 0.5, just on the other side of it. So if you did a value, let's get rid of that. If you did a value closer to one, it'll be closer to zero on the other side. If you did something in the middle here, it'll be closer. So most of the values in this texture are pretty gray, which means they're all close to 0.5. And when we invert it, there won't be much of a change because the values aren't moving very close. There's no massive difference between a value of one and a value of zero. There's no contrast between the two ends of the spectrum. They're all very close around 0 0.5. On the other hand, we have a, a texture like this where the values are all closer to zero and one. And if we put an invert node into here, there is quite a noticeable difference because the values are moving a bigger distance.